What is up ladies, Leon Trotsky here bringing us more Battlefield 3 content and today, well, let's talk about the ladies. <laughs> um, let's get the gameplay stuff out of the way real quick and then I would just break it down for you. Uh, gameplay stuff, Operation Metro, I'm running with the M16A3, favorite assault rifle in the game because it's the most balanced, you gotta use it, everybody loves it. M26 frag rounds underneath under barrel. It can come in quarter, uh, come very useful in close quarters maps. Playing on everybody's favorite map. I used to say this jokingly. Now it seems like everybody loves this map. Operation Metro. I, I like playing it. I give up my tags early in the beginning. Basic gameplay stuff. We're playing Conquest. We're having a good time. I go on a crazy couple kill streaks in the beginning. Have a pretty good score. Eh, basic stuff. Big thing with the assault rifles. You got to find a gun that you're comfortable with and that you're confident with. And it's going to kind of break down into some of my uh, commentary today because, you know, I get a lot of comments about my introduction and be like, hello, ladies. What's up, ladies? And, you know, obviously there's not too many ladies that watch my videos, or at least I assume not. Uh, quick point power position, best spot in Operation Metro right here. You got to get it quick and early. And you see me get some kills. But <clears throat> back to the introduction stuff, guys. Um,. People ask me about that, and you know, sometimes it, it, it's come from a lot of different things, the ladies' introduction. Obviously, I know there's not too many ladies watching my videos, or I assume there's not just because I doubt there's too many that play Battlefield 3 and then actually look up YouTube videos on it, but you know, if, if there are, I'd like to make them feel welcome, more welcome than all these gentlemen, because everybody else gets called out, all these guys get called out in everybody else's videos, so whatever. Uh, get Make the ladies feel special. The other thing, um, you guys probably don't know much about my uh, personal life. Um, you know, I, I had worked in a restaurant for a while, and people used to give me a hard time that that's how I kind of talked to my tables when I had a table full of women. Be like, what up, ladies? What up, ladies? How we doing? Da, da, da. So that was kind of that introduction. I jump into Xbox Live parties a lot of times, and I find myself saying that. What up, ladies? When I jump in, people make a joke about it now. Um, and then the other thing that it really comes down to is really, like, getting ladies. And that's kind of what this conversation, this topic uh, I want to talk about today is really just women in general. And that's one of the reasons that I personally have not been playing that much Battlefield lately is because of women. And I've been busy with women and dealing with women. And, you know, women in gaming, they, you know, most most women don't find gaming attractive. Um, it is what it is. I, I, I don't know exactly how to explain it. But the other reason that I say the ladies thing in the beginning, it, it has to do with my personal life. You know, I'm a tall, skinny, white dude, kind of dorky looking, but anybody that knows me knows I always have women around me. I'm always, I've always dated women. I'm not the most attractive guy, but for some reason, I've been successful with women. And, you know, I'd like to share maybe some tips or strategies because there's similar things that you can think about in Battlefield and you can think about with women. And I think the biggest thing is, uh, well, there's two big things, being nice. Uh, obviously is b very important. Um, you know, some people say nice guys finish last, but you know, being nice in battlefield, you're going to have a more enjoyable time. And you know, people aren't going to use USAS with frag rounds when you don't use USAS with, USAS with frag rounds. So kind of goes the same thing with women. Like when you treat a woman with respect and you show her, you know, respect, they're going to show you respect back or, and they, if they don't, then they're not worth your time. Um, bottom line there. And you know, the other thing is confidence. Uh, like I said earlier, finding a gun that you're confident with the M16 A3. Um, it's when you're able to show confidence to women, they will like it. Uh, they, they eat it up. They, they find many different M26 frag rounds right here. This is why you use it. Um, but women love confidence. That's the biggest thing. And just being a nice person in general. Uh, me personally, like I said, I'm a tall, skinny white dude that you would never expect me to get women, but I do, and I, I think it has to do with my perseverance. Um, I'm very picky with the women that I date, and I, you know, I sleep around. I'm, I'm an older guy, so I've gone through it. You know, I've, I've dated women. I've lived with women. Um, I've had long-term relationships. I've had short relationships. I've had fuck buddies. I've had the whole shebang. I could give you guys a breakdown on every type of relationship, and that's the thing I think also... When you talk about women in relationships and you try and give advice, um, it's the same thing with giving battlefield advice and battlefield videos. It's like not every circumstance is going to be the same and not every situation is going to be the same. And that's half the fun in dating and, you know, dating, uh, dating women and going out and stuff like that is, you know, meeting new people and putting yourself in new situations and, uh, you know, <clears throat> really finding somebody or <clears throat> something that you can be become comfortable with. Um, the other big thing that I have to say, obviously, I'm a very picky guy when it comes to women and... Like, the, the the chick that I'm going after right now, we're, we're kind of hooking up. We started off as friends. We were working together, and then we started hanging out, and we, we were doing the whole, we're just friends seeing. We don't want to hook up. Like, I wanted to I wanted to hang out. I wanted to hook up with her, obviously. You know, any guy can be honest. Like, you, you'll say you'll be friends with somebody, but you usually want to have sex with them. It's just how it goes. Um, but you know what? A, a girl likes 
somebody that wants to be nice to him. Obviously, this this girl that I'm attracted to right now that I've been hanging out with, this is the most weirdest thing. Like, I'm very picky, so I only go after the hottest chick, or the chick at least that I find the most attractive. And this chick right now that I'm going after isn't, she is fucking smoking hot. Um, she's, how would I describe it? She looks, she's, she's half black, uh, first of all. And she is kind of on the lighter side, but she is just a smoking body. She's trying to be a singer. She's my age, about 25. Um, an ass for days. Nice, tight little tits. Perfect body. Just gorgeous woman. But, and, and this is the one, the one thing that can make it difficult sometimes. is like, she's the chick, like, you go out to a bar and she gets hit on by every single guy in the bar. And sometimes, like, that can be frustrating for me personally. Um, just because, you know, it's kind of a jealousy thing. I don't know what it is. But it also kind of makes you feel good knowing that, She's going to come hang out with you. She's she's there at the bar with you. She's going to go home with you. You're going to be hitting that shit at the end of the evening. So there's a confidence builder thing. Oh, sorry. Back to gameplay wise. I thought that guy was on my team and he wasn't and he killed me and ruined my fucking kill streak right there. It was so upsetting. So, but that's what I've been busy with guys is going out and obviously women are more important than gaming because it's a little bit more fun getting your dick wet than getting a kill streak. That's just my personal opinion. Um, but that's kind of where I stand on that. So that's why I've been busy. If you guys need tips for getting the ladies or something like that, I could give you plenty of tips. You know, I've, I've done all the different things. I've, man, I've, I've dated women. I've had, I've had a girl get an abortion before. Like I've, I've gone through a lot of shit. I'm a little bit older. So, you know, I know there's some people that watch my videos that are younger subscribers and stuff like that. And probably in high school dealing with all the women and stuff like that. If you guys have questions, I could make this into a series and just talk about women but, you know, this I just kind of needed to get my chest to let you guys know what I've been up to, hanging out with the women, going out at night, spending too much money, drinking too much alcohol, trying to get that ass. <laughs> I've been chasing it around. If you saw the ass that I'm chasing, you would understand why, because it is, it is amazing. Um, but that is that, guys. Let's see, any more women tips? I would say just be be who you are, I think. Be, be nice and find somebody that you can come to meet in the middle you know obviously if some people you know you want somebody similar to you but you also want somebody that challenges you to be a better person and as you start getting older the game the game starts changing quite a bit quite a bit and it becomes you know you got to worry about family stuff does this girl want kids does she want is she looking to get married right now is she want something serious not serious and there's a lot more to come in contact when you're in high school and you're like man she's cute i want to go out with her you know my biggest thing go for the girl that you find attractive and don't don't take no for an answer like you know this girl that i'm going after right now she she was like no we'll just be friends no it's gonna be awkward no it's gonna, you know you just gotta be persistent and let her know be honest that's a big thing is be honest with what you want and don't don't be afraid to say something you know like it, it it's better to get it out there and get rejected than to never say anything at all. I promise you, you will you will feel so much better about getting something off your chest and being able to move on. Like, say you're, you you got a big crush on some girl, well, you know, let her know. Make it clear to this woman that you have a crush on her. Some people say, oh, play the game, play it slow, you know, make, make it act like you're not interested. Obviously, you, you don't want to be all about a woman. You don't want to just you know, one-sided and overwhelm a woman, you know, some chicks like that, but most, most of the time, and this goes both ways with relationships and stuff is that, uh, don't give up knives and get too greedy. No, it's, um, it's really, you know, you got to have other stuff going on in your life. And so find stuff to keep you busy. You don't want to overwhelm somebody because it goes the same way. Like when I, I have these women sometimes, like I'm very interested in this one girl, but I have other women that will give me their numbers and stuff like that. Hey, call me, let's hang out and stuff like that. And you know, part of me really likes a woman that, sorry, I sped this gameplay up, guys, just because it got kind of boring, and this is just the end of the game where we got him trip-capped, obviously, um, but, you know, when a woman puts himself out there for you, it, 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 you are going to respect it, you're going to like it, it's going to make you feel good, but you're not going to, personally, I, I sort of enjoy a chase, and it's kind of a tough balance of what knowing when you enjoy a chase and giving everything you want towards a woman, and when you uh, like to be pursued and when you know a woman likes you and you you know essentially you have it unlocked like I have these girls give me numbers when I when a girl gives me her number I assume that she wants to fuck me and it's basic as that obviously I'm confident and so I know that I could eventually date her but woman gives me a number I was like all right whatever I can play it nonchalant I can play whatever I can go do whatever I want and this girl's gonna be around and she wants me obviously and sometimes you don't want to fall into that same thing when you are after a girl that you really like you know you want to show them attention you want to know you want them to know that you're into them but at the same time 
you want to, you know, be curious. Make sure that you keep them interested. Because as soon as I told this girl that, hey, these other girls are giving me the number, I might go out with them. She's like, oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I'll take a little more seriously. Oh, maybe, you know, now that this guy has some other girls that are interested, hey, maybe there's something I see in that. So just a little thing, you know, keep your options open. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. If you want to hear me talk more about women, if you want to hear me talk more about anything at all, Battlefield 3 content coming up soon, ladies. You know how we do. Till next time, ladies, I'll be busy. I hope you do too. <laughs>